Hello everyone, this is Sean Thomas on official PvP Hardcore Server 385 where we are crazy for Quetzals. Alright, so here we are in our perfect incubation chamber. We've got lots of space for multiple eggs to incubate. Uh, this right here is the sweet spot. We've got uh, a Quetzal egg incubating away. It's lost some health, but that was due to it being left on the floor after it popped out the Quetzal Mama. And over here we've got some more Quetzal eggs just about to hatch. They are on a fraction of their incubation, so we're going to witness the birth of three hopefully high-level Quetzals here. The female was one of our early tames, and she's pretty low. She's level 59, so she probably tamed out closer to around 20. Firestorm here, uh, I believe, was 104, and then Kibble tamed up to probably around 150. So we're expecting to see some, some uh, dinosaur birdies around that level of 150 to hopefully no less than 100. If we do get some less than 100, we'll have to make the executive decision whether to continue to feed these hungry hippos or put them down. So we are waiting on the incubation to finish out. We've got a few AC units on the side here. Normally we incubate them over here, but as you can see, it can get kind of crowded. We had some trouble when we hatched our brontosaurus getting them out of the building. So we're going to bring them closer to the ramp coming down. And as they pop, we'll bring them on outside of the, outside the hatchery here. We try not to pike anything in the hatchery. And uh, usually it's better just to let baby dinosaurs you do not intend to raise to adulthood. If you let them starve on their own, it's usually better. That way uh, they don't go, their bodies will go flying off. And, and it sometimes causes your tamed dinosaurs to go into a frenzy trying to get to that baby dino to eat it. Alright, so inside here we have all the other eggs we are, you know, taming, or not taming, uh, <laughs> incubating down to ready, you know, readiness to pop. We've got a few high-level Rexes, and so we'd stack these refrigerators with as much food as we can. So as you see, we've got lots and lots of meat stored up for these Quetzals. All those refrigerators, some of them got, had berries. We're looking to hatch a few Branos. Uh, but for the most part, we've got these Quetzal eggs here just about to pop. These are our targets for today. I think that uh, that green bar is going to go away. It'll have all gray, and then at that point, it'll be uh, a little while longer for the eggs to actually pop. And this is not something I recommend doing on your own. It can be quite taxing. These uh, these dinosaurs are going to take 19, 19 hours to exit the baby phase. The uh, incubation period is roughly around 16 and a half hours, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, sometimes it feels like 18, but they do take quite a bit of time. All right, I'm being called over to help with some Quetzal breeding. I've never had too much trouble with uh, hatching a, a qu uh, dropping a Quetzal egg anyway out of a, another, but uh, the, over there where the lights lit. We got a little pteranodon passing through. The love is happening in this room over here. Got a little ground shake. Let's see, what can we bring in there? Let's bring an Argent in there. I'm going to set the Argent to passive just so that it doesn't cause any havoc. Cycle aggression to passive. We're going to hop on and fly this in. Try to land it in here. It's really quite easy to do it. I'm not sure why they're having so much trouble. If you put the female up against a wall and then you bring the male up behind, they only walk forward. So when they do, you know, if you put the male right behind the female and the female can't go anywhere, the male can't go anywhere, and therefore you get an egg when they're set to wander. Alright. Let me uh, just let them know that. So 
So we're gonna place the female against up against the wall. Place the male right behind her. You can set them to wander. And then you wait for egg. Don't want to miss the hatching of these little quetzals here. If they still need additional help, I'll go ahead and head over there to pick them up. As you can see, we are just at a sliver here now on these quetzal eggs. Incubation is just fine. This one's going gray. ask them if it's working now for them or if they need me to head over there. If, if they need it, you'll get to see some mating process as well for the Quetzals. I'll show that lined up. Do have these just about to pop. Alright, good. Sounds like they've got it. Let's go ahead and pick these guys up. We're going to stick them back in the fridge. We'll come back to it. Want to get them happy with their Quetzal egg. Got to have good customer service for our, <laughs> our tribe that assisted us with such a fine bird. Alright, well I don't want to disturb that so I'm going to fly in. down below. The love is happening. That sound sounded a lot like a Quetzal egg popping. Alright, they got it. So, again, you just place that one female up against the wall, place a male in behind. You can use dinosaurs to block in to make kind of a makeshift enclosure. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hop off get those Quetzal eggs going again. Alright, we want to place them right in front of the ramp so it can get down pretty easily. And if you hover over items in your inventory, you can push the O key, that will drop them. try to space them out a little bit so they don't get stuck on each other. That's a little bit too close to the AC. I don't want it to get stuck on the AC. I think that'll be okay. And we'll place this one right about here. That'll work. That'll work. So we are crazy for Quetzals here on 385. We use our Quetzals quite extensively. So Firestorm is a high level one. So before we had Firestorm, we did most of our meat runs with Rexes, maybe Pteranodons if you needed the mobility and speed. But uh, Pteranodons just don't collect the same way as Rex would as far as uh, Swift and uh, <laughs> 
swift collection of the meat as well as the weight capacity to carry quite a bit of it. So with the Quetzals, you have the benefit of uh, a pretty strong attack, not quite as strong as a Rex, but it seems like it gets a double attack with the beak. When it attacks, it hits once, and then as it, as it closes its mouth and when it opens, it does another set of damage. You can pick up prey and carry it off somewhere safely to either tame or kill. You also are able to uh, use the long neck of a Quetzal to reach down and uh, you can actually attack a Rex while it can't attack you. And our, our uh, high level Quetzal's got about 32,000 health. It has, uh, we could, I think we're around 1600 melee damage. Okay, we got a 101 Quetzal baby that just popped. So we've got a female maturation process in place. We've got to throw that meat on there. He's scrambling to do it. I'm scrambling to do it. We want to make sure we keep him nice and fed. He's looking at the stats. You want to go ahead and tell it uh, to stop following you. You can use the hotkey Y. Do not touch J, especially if you're in your base. J will whistle all to follow you. I've actually changed that key to end since that's on the very opposite side of my keyboard there, the far right. Let's take a look at the stats here. The health is pretty low, unfortunately. Uh, that's too bad, but it will be another breeder since it's a female. Oh, another another thing to remember is tell it not to wander. Come on over here, Babs. Come on, you're gonna get stuck when you get bigger over there. <laughs> you're probably hungry again too. They eat pretty quickly, so for raw meat consumption it's going to be about 20 seconds per raw meat. And it looks like she got stuck. I'll try to have her follow me out this way. So it's really kind of cumbersome how you, you get those critters to follow you. I should have disabled the wander there. They're set to wander. Might be part of the... Yeah. Bab's health is low. This guy's health is high, however, so we're going to want to keep this one more likely. And if it's a female, we might let Bab's die. No, it's a male. Go ahead and disable that wander. You don't want the <laughs> spoiled meat on them since it's going to take up space. Uh, let's go ahead and bring these guys outside. get this bird out of the way. They're going to move pretty slow. So uh, our tribe mate has recommended letting this uh, baby Babs perish. Yeah, the uh, the only stats that look good right now are the melee damage and the weight on this one. So we're going to go ahead and take the meat off of this. We're going to let this guy, or female, little girl here, she's going to have to starve outside. Sorry, Babs. And then you, I think uh, we have a little trouble with you having fallen off where you did. Probably going to have to look at uh, revamping this room. I'm going to consider opening that wall up to get it out. Let's move this one a little bit over here. So we are hatching these Quetzals. This one's about to pop. I'm not sure I really want it at a level 81 either. The health is really nice. Melee damage is a bit low, but that's okay. Weight's good. Food's 1700. Let's take a look at the other one. It's a higher level on the other one. 
before it perishes. The food is 4,000, so this one would have been a lot easier to raise with 4,000 food because it'll give you more of a buffer. So we're going to give it some food for the meantime. It was hungry. I hadn't been feeding it and been neglecting it. They will die on you pretty quick if you're not careful there. So we're going to feed it for now. We pop the other one. This one's 85. Good health and good food. Good weight, 1,000. Melee damage is 200. I'm not quite sure where it took a hit. Probably the stamina. Stamina is only 750, so let's go take a look at the other ones. So on this 101, we're dealing with stamina of 2,475. It will fly for days. It just doesn't have the health. Alright, so I think we're going to go with this one here. <laughs> all right so he named it question i i asked him whether he wanted to keep it or let all three of these guys starve out because uh, they aren't as high as we had hoped and he's mentioning the health and food are good uh, that in the you know, case that it probably will survive so we've lost our our babs let's go over there and get some prime meat off of it so you're going to want to use the pick for the prime meat we only got two. It's not so great. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest that we let the, all, all all of them perish here. And to stop your wandering. Ooh. At this point, they're stuck inside our base. I could let out a wall. Yeah, I think I'm I'm content just letting these guys perish. All right, well there you have it. We're crazy for Quetzals. These three did not quite meet our quota. We've got a few more eggs incubating here. It looks like we've got 137 and 195. So Big Bird is the tame from the other tribe. Unfortunately, it took some damage while they were taming it, so it ended out probably around 120. But between Big Bird and Firestorm, we should get a well over 100 bird. And these guys are just, we're not, we're not cutting it. We didn't get lucky in the draws. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you're looking for an incubation room, please make sure that you can close it. So this door is open, but as soon as I close it, you'll see that little house icon up at the top right opens up. I open the door, it goes away. So what happens there is you get an incubation bonus or a, an insulation bonus that works for an incubation bonus here. When you have that closed in room like we've got right here, it helps keep them at the at an even temperature. You throw ACs around. Quetzals are extremely hard to maintain a uh, perfect temperature, but if you throw a bunch of AC units down, stick them in the middle, you're golden. Uh, it also helps based on your location. We are in West 2, so West 2 is, tends to be a warmer climate, but it's not exceedingly hot, not like the, the swamp biomes. 
and not exceedingly cold like the snow biomes or even up north in the mountainous regions. So this tends to be a very nice base for a farm. We get all our eggs here and we also use it to incubate and hatch out. So this is our incubation room, the hatchery. Over here just to the, si uh, just, just <laughs> just to the side of the incubation area is the hatchery. We hatch him here. He's going to do an Ankylosaurus right now. And uh, I'll, I'll capture that in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Sean Thomas on official PvP Hardcore Server 385. Thanks for watching.